Welcome to Well-Crafted Studio. I'm here to help you live inspired and create with purpose. So let's get started. Okay, to start, we're going to go to the Well-Crafted webpage. This is at www.wellcraftedstudio.com. Going to go to the library, click on that. This is a free resource library that has all kinds of free files in it. SVGs, PDFs, coloring pages, templates, and more. I've already signed in and used my password. In order to get the password, all you have to do is sign up through the website with your email. You'll instantly get the password and you can unsubscribe at any time. There's lots of good stuff here. We're going to page down until we get to printable art and stickers. I'm going to click on Art Supply Stickers 1 and right away that's going to bring up that file. At this point we could go ahead and print using the print option at the top of the page if I already had the paper into the printer and was ready to go. But I don't, and so I'm just going to click on this and put Save Image to Downloads. Now we're going to go back and repeat the process with the second sticker sheet. So this is Art Supply Stickers number two. Save to Downloads, and it's there. Now we're going to go to the Cricut Design site. I've already uploaded the images before this, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're going to do New Project, and then Upload. It says Upload Image, and then Browse. Now Cricut does accept PN PNG files. So I'm going to Downloads, and there we've got Art Supply Sticker Sheet 1 and 2. So we'll start with 1. Cricut's going to automatically try to figure out what the image looks like. So we've uploaded the image, and now we need to select the image type. We're going to choose moderate, moderately complex, because there is some graphics here. It's not a simple black and white, but there isn't. it says low contrast between the background and foreground. We have a pretty high contrast, just because this is already a pin file, which means most of the background is transparent. Click Continue. So all these little black, or sorry, gray and white checks means transparent. So if you'll notice, all the images have a white border around them already. That's just part of the file. So they're showing us the big part, like a big piece of it. If this file did not have a background, a transparent background, you could go ahead and remove the background on this page. We're going to click continue. Now Cricut's giving us the option to save it as a print then cut image or as just a cut image. We're going to do print then cut and save. And there it is uploaded. So now we're going to go ahead and click upload again, browse, and we're going to grab that second sheet. Choose. Again with the moderately complex. Continue, and again continue. It's already chosen print then cut, so save. And there's our second image. Now we're going to select both of these again. Insert images. This is a new canvas. And there are both of the sheets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select them both by dragging over both of them. And then we're going to rotate by 90 degrees. Oh. There we go. I'm going to select them both again. And I'm going to change the width to 6.16 I think is what I had it at. Okay, and that automatically changed. When we changed the width, it changed the height as well because this ratio has been locked. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take one sheet and we're going to put it right up in the corner there. And then we're going to take the next sheet 
and we're going to put it at the 9. So the bottom edge of it, that's against the, ed the left edge, and it's at the 9. So now what we're going to do is select both of those again. So you can see they're both selected because they're both grayed out. And we're going to go ahead and attach those by pressing the attach down in the corner. Now we're going to go ahead and select make it. Okay, so we're now on the print page. So right here it says print and cut. There's one copy. And we're going to go ahead and press continue. I've already got my maker attached, or turned on, connected, I guess. And we have the option of saying send to printer, or I've already printed. So now we have the printer page, or the printer type, how many copies, and it says add bleed. I'm going to turn that off. Print. Okay, while that's printing, I'm going to go ahead and it says set material. So you can use the sticker paper, but I found that it tends to cut right through it. The type that I use. So I've been using vinyl and a, changing the default setting the pressure to less. So now it's telling me to go ahead and lo load my mat. Okay, it's all ready to cut. So I'm going to take our printed. I'm going to line it up along the edge and the top. I'm using the light blue cutting mat because it's a low tack. So it seems to work better with paper. Now the mat has got the little heaney thing at the top here, and I like to think of that as a little arrow. I'm going to insert that in. I'm going to load my mat. Okay, it's prompting me to press go. The button's blinking on the machine. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to find the registration marks that square that's around, or the rectangle that's around our image. Okay, the cut's done, so I'm going to unload the mat. And I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to peel it up off, and there we have it. I'm going to cut that rectangle off. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it right in the middle. One way to find the middle is to lightly crease it in half, or we can go ahead and measure it and do math. This is at four and four quarter, four and three quarters inches. Go ahead and line that up. And then we have our two sticker sheets. Go ahead and put those in an envelope. Or 
there, you can go ahead and use them in your planner. This is the best part, trying to decide what to use where. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and if you found it helpful, please like, comment, or subscribe below. And for more tutorials like this, visit wellcraftedstudio.com.